Welcome back everybody. It is time for another grid. This time we are going to take a 12 inch by 18 inch piece of drawing paper, which is typical for classrooms to have. And we're gonna use just a, a generic kind of 12 inch ruler. Uh, usually classrooms would have one that is at least 18 inches, but uh, we're gonna use this because you know, that's, what, that's what most people have at home or at least mostly readily available. I, I'll be doing this in, in a Sharpie just from the very beginning uh, so that you can see it and I'll keep my fingers crossed that I don't make any mistakes although whenever we're doing a grid you want to use a pencil so that you can correct any mistakes and keep your marks as light as possible throughout this process. Uh, so those are the kind of the gist of things but I need to point out a few other things. For our purposes with this, we will be making an 11 by 14 inch rectangle on our 12 by 18 piece of paper. Now, if this is our piece of paper and this is our rectangle, this tells us, right? Sorry, that is <laughs> trying to talk and think at the same time. There we go. Um, if I want an 11 inch rectangle over here and this whole thing is 12 inches, then I have one inch left over. Uh, if I divide that by two, that means I'm going to have a half inch border on either side here. Uh, taking four inches, dividing that by two means I'm gonna have a two inch border on either side over here. Within this, uh, and I, you can use these measurements if, if you just want to draw an overall rectangle right smack in the middle of your piece of paper. What we wanna do is make a grid and we want to have a grid of squares where we have eight along the short side and 10 along the long side. So we wanna have perfect eight by 10 inch squares. And if, if you do some math, taking your eight into 11, um, you will realize that you need one and three eighths inch squares. 10 into 14. This also works, but you'll have a little tiny sliver left over on one side, which we'll get to, and we'll talk about dealing with that in the future. Uh, but we want eight squares by 10 squares in an 11 by 14 inch rectangle that is set in the very middle of a 12 by 18 inch piece of paper. So I'm gonna take my, my scrap paper here, my measurements, and just kind of set them off to the side. Uh, you can't see them anymore, but I can. Uh, and then I'm just gonna take my ruler, right along here, the bottom of my piece of paper, making sure that it's lined up here on the left. I'm going to begin by putting a mark at two inches. And then I'm gonna come over by that one and three eighths inch measurement. And that's pretty easy to, to measure from two inches. I come, whoa, I come from two, I find three inches here, and then one, two, three eighths. Um, pretty easy, pretty easy. Uh, coming and, and doing that as I come down, it gets a little confusing. You know, I could go, this is whew, three and three eighths. I could go to four and three eighths and then add three more eighths to that, right? I could try coming by an inch to, let's see, four and three, five and three quarters, and then coming over three more marks. Let me just double one, two, and two. Right, I, I could do all of that. That's a little confusing to me. This ruler is actually broken up into sixteenths, but if I ignore those shortest marks and I kind of do this little back and forth kind of thing over here, you know, one and three eighths, eight plus three, uh, eight over eight being one, that one inch, it's, it's every 11 marks I want to put a little dash mark over here, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and eleven. I've reached the end of my run over here, so I just need to shift my ruler down a bit. One and three eighths. This gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more. So this gives me a two inch border over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. That's great. But I know I want a two inch border over here as well. So that does is it gives me a mark over here. And this will be that little leftover sliver, which is again a little weird, 
but we're gonna deal with it, all right? Double check your markings before you go on to measure this side over here. So next I'm gonna come over here and, and just try to get uh, an even-ish amount of paper over here. Again, beginning with my two inch border. I'm going to go to one and three eighths, then start counting every 11 marks over on my ruler. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got a little sliver over here to match up with this little sliver over here. I have a two inch border here and here. The rest of it will go a little bit faster because my ruler actually reaches across this entire width of the paper, but I will need to put some initial marks along not just my two far ends, but also like one place kind of in the middle. Right? And remember, I need a half inch border over here, a half inch border down here. I am going to begin by coming in by half an inch on both sides. I will go ahead and draw a mark there, right? because that's what I know I need. And then I know I need every one and three eighths inches. So that comes over to here, one, two, and three. I'll come over here to one side, you know, double check your measuring. There is that mistake right there, but I will ignore it. Line this up on the edge here, one half of an inch, one half of an inch. here that's one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven and eight uh, but obviously my ruler doesn't go all the way across here so I need to do one in the middle now I have marks along the top I have marks along the bottom I have marks going vertically on the two sides and and in the middle what I need to do at this point is merely connect my lines. So I'll go here, shift my ruler over, and make sure I have a perfectly straight line. Now if you have a ruler that is long enough, this will be much quicker for you and you won't need to do this. Um, so you know, good on you if you have a ruler long enough. I'm just trying to use what is easily available and go from there. And then just work my way across here. So there you have it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares. We do have a little sliver left over here at the end, which will be addressed as we create our whole drawing, but this gives us a 14 inch wide and 11 inch tall rectangle, which is a standard frame size if you go to any retail establishment or internet presence to buy a frame uh, and this sets us up for our drawing again also you should be doing yours in pencil with the lightest lines possible this is only in black sharpie so that you can see the end result with that be precise set yourself up for success and have fun